Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today basically what we're going to be doing is we are going to be trying out something that I have personally never ever tried out ever in my freaking life but I have seen some tutorials on YouTube on how to do this and so we're going to try to do this today. So basically we are doing a goblin knife strategy. Now before we do get into this, today is my birthday not on the 16th of February but on the 15th so you guys this is a pre-recorded video. Basically I am recording this on my birthday for you guys but I am uploading this on the 16th of February because I always record one video and then I upload it the next day just to be safe in case I for once am not able to record a video so I do have a video up for you guys so with that being said you guys wish me happy birthday if you do want to do that down below in the comment section that would be appreciated and with that being said let's get ourselves straight into this video so pretty much this is the goblin knife strategy you can mix it up a little bit add a couple of more goblins to just uh, do whatever you want to, just take a couple of more wall breakers, whatever you want to, take whatever spells you want to take. I would recommend some free spells if you are a Town Hall 9 and you're going up against those Inferno Towers or Town Hall 10 or 11. I would definitely recommend the free spells to stop those Inferno Towers, but sadly we are not able to do that because our spell factory is still down. It is upgrading, going to unlock ourselves that clone spell because we are a brand new Town Hall 10. I've got it about five days ago, I believe, so please be sure to check that video out if you didn't miss out on that because it was a pretty awesome video and yeah you guys that's pretty much it so we're gonna try and go ahead and find a raid now I did find a couple of raids before but I did not have the goblin on strategy so let me just prove it to you right now real quick that I have not used the goblin on strategy this is pretty much going to be the first ever time of me using the goblin knife you can see I found two really really awesome replays let me just show you real quick what the loot is 500,000 of each that is just insane you guys if you do want to check out where to farm how to farm and all that stuff just check out yesterday's video it was just awesome we had so much freaking loot it was insane so yeah you guys pretty much i'm gonna search for a base and basically what you want to do is you want to try and get that town hall as well with the goblin knife strategy so there is also a clan that is pushing yes that's right it is pushing with the goblin knife strategy they are pushing up into the champions even titans league i don't believe anyone has made it into the legends league though with that attack strategy I'm not quite sure though so do not get this quote on quote so I really do not know but I know there's a clan that actually does push with the goblin knife strategy so if they can do it I don't know if I can do it I mean those guys are professionals but we're gonna try and do this so pretty much if we do fail with the wall breakers we will have lost the raid I mean that is game over because the goblins there's no way they're gonna get past those walls without any help of the wall breakers so you know what we just found a base and I think we're gonna attack this guy so what we're gonna do right here is we are first of all going to go in with the one of the giants so the mortar starts targeting the giant then we're going to drop a couple of goblins on the outside of the base so they do take out those gold mines and elixir collectors so we're going to try and do that the goblins are not going to go for the queen so that is good we still have 134 goblins left and man those goblins they do a lot of damage i don't think we even need a giant so yeah we actually don't even need the giant to distract for the goblins we just need a couple of goblins on the outside of the base to collect that nice loot and so we don't want to use up too many goblins obviously because otherwise we won't have any goblins to get to the center of the base we will need those earthquake spells though so we're gonna do this actually you know what we're gonna try and get into the base with the wall breakers first and then if we do fail with that then we're gonna go in with our earthquake spell so we do want that dark elixir pretty much a good amount of loot and now we can go for the town hall you guys although we're not aiming for the town hall like we're not aiming for the win pretty much I do want to aim for the win in this video so pretty much what I'm trying to say is personally I do not care about these trophies about pushing or something like that right now I just care about finding our loot but for the sake of this video our goal is to get the town hall with this goblin knife strategy so we're gonna drop in a single giant with two wall breakers that should do the job for the level 7 wall pretty much a very very weak level wall and so we are going to open up one more compartment we're gonna drop in one archer over on this side a 
another one over here, and then we're going to drop another giant, so the mortar starts targeting that. We're going to drop in two archers on that, uh, what is it, on the builder's hut, and that should do the job. So we're going to drop in about one, two, three, four wall breakers in case the archer tower does start targeting them. Two of them will do the job, and then the mortar is going to finish off that final wall breaker. So now we have a free path to the town hall, but almost. I think we're going to have to drop the earthquake spells, aren't we? So I'm just going to drop them right now, and let's go ahead and drop one, two, three giants right there, and three giants over on this side. So we're going to drop in the four haste spells, one, two, three, and one in the center. And now we're going to drop in all of our goblins, you guys, just like this, and see what sort of damage they can do. Can they get to the center of the town hall? It is looking very promising at the moment. So these goblins are going to take out this uh, gold mine, gold collector, gold storage, whatever you want to call it. But you guys, we failed this. Well, actually, we didn't fail it completely. There are two goblins in the center of the base, but they did not manage to take it out. It was at uh, low health, not too low health, a little under half health but we did not manage to get to the town hall and if we did have a single raid spell or something I am 100% positive that we would have gone the town hall so we did pretty much fail this first attack but we're gonna try and do our best to get the win in the next attack so let me get this uh, dark elixir storage got dark elixir collector drill right here real quick before the end the battle and there we go that is a loss for us but you guys stay tuned to this video do not click off of it yet we are going to try and get the win that is the reason behind me boosting my my barracks right here right now and so I am going to delete this let's drop in four haste spells and four earthquake spells with a single poison spell and now we're gonna pretty much train up the exact same army as before oh okay so wait I have to delete all of this and I have to go into quick train and train this up again not enough army spaces and we do have a empty we have empty army camps pretty much so that sucks let me just delete these real quick and I think now we can train it up yet again so yes there we go that's going to do the job for me and now we have two more armies training up for me and for you guys so in a couple of moments time we will have the two armies ready to attack for a final time okay so guys we did get our army ready but yet again we have another break here and you can see I just got promoted to elder which is pretty damn awesome to be honest it feels pretty great now we have an argument of if we should promote people when they get 4,000 donations or not so I'm not quite sure how this is going to end if I will get demoted or not but I did actually make it I am now officially an elder within the clan you can see if I go into the clan right here right now I am the elder right here and I can move the screen for you guys just for you guys to see that this is not sort of photoshopped or something if I do go into my profile you can see it says elder so I am officially an elder within YouTube general which is actually pretty awesome not gonna lie it does feel pretty great and now I am going to search for yet another base and I'm gonna be honest here I have been searching for a base for this past couple of minutes and honestly I cannot find a base so I may have to drop down below in the silver league not in the silver league what in the crystal league or in the gold league I got many comments last video saying that I should drop down below into the gold league or into the crystal league so the majority said actually crystal league but there were some people saying gold league is absolutely amazing it is the gold mine of clash of clans right now that is what they were saying so I don't know I may be dropping down below there I mean literally we do not have anything to worry about I can gain about 500 trophies from the gold league up into the crystal league in just a couple of hours that's what that shouldn't be too hard to be honest and we just found a base and you can see the loot it's really really good when you do find bases with loot you will find a ton of loot so I think I don't know if I'm gonna drop or not but anyways let's just drop a couple of units on the outside of the base right now and see what sort of damage we can do can we get to the town hall that will be an interesting thing indeed now we will try and get this gold mine and I think that should be okay so yes it is let's drop a couple of more goblins on the outside of the base let's drop a couple of goblins over on this gold mine not quite sure if that will fall because of the barbarian king and the cannon but it did actually fall so that's good mortars should target those goblins but they should be able to survive a single shot and yes they did and so they will have no problem whatsoever so let's drop a single giant because otherwise that wizard tower is going to annihilate all of my goblins which it already did so I was kind of late on that joint let's drop a couple of goblins on the outside right here and then we should be good to go for the center of the base being the town hall so let's drop one single giant over here drop a couple of goblins and then we should be good to go so we are now going to try and get to the town hall yet again so let's break through all of these walls right here all of these wall compartments and you know what I think that was sort of a mistake because now the goblins are going to go for this gold storage which is not what we want we want them to go straight into the center of the base but this guy this is sort of like an anti-goblin knife strategy base I don't know how this guy 
thought that anyone would attack him with a goblin knife strategy but obviously we are attacking him so let's just drop in our joints in a nice line right here let's drop a couple of wall breakers and i hope they do not get roasted by that wizard tower so no they didn't so let's drop a couple of his spells one two three and four there we go that should be it let's drop our barbarian king and now we're going to drop in all of our goblins so there we go goblins going into the center of the base can we get to the town hall i honestly do not know because of the mortars targeting our goblins and so on and so forth but it is looking pretty promising right now some goblins on the town hall town hall on very low health indeed there are a couple of goblins on the town hall right here right now can they get it can they get it no they can't barbarian king going to have to rage him up is he going to go for the town hall next no not but there are a couple of barbarians oh my god you guys we're gonna fail this attack yet again and that is because we do not have elixir spell you guys we do not have any elixir spells whatsoever so that pretty much sucks that is ruining my entire raids i mean i cannot win with this attack strategy without having a raid spell i mean a raid spell would have raged up every single one of those goblins which were targeting the town hall and the town hall it is again just under half health so well, that would have meant that the town hall would have fallen because the goblins they did half the damage and the raid spell makes them double the damage so they would have gotten the town hall and so that pretty much sucks yet again but we're gonna try and do a final attack within this video and i do hope this goes better so our barbarian king is sadly down this time but we are going to try and get a one star with these with this attack strategy without our barbarian king so we're gonna try and do that so let me find a base right here and i think we're gonna go for a base that maybe doesn't have too much loot not really too worried about the loot in this video i know i told you i was farming but for this video i really am not too worried about loot obviously i'm not going to complain if i do find a base with loot but i would appreciate a good loot raid so pretty much i will find a base and i will be back with you guys in a couple of moments Okay, so you guys, I think we're gonna attack this base, and you guys may wonder yourselves why I am attacking this base. Now, first of all, you can see this guy, he does have a pretty decent amount of loot, but the loot is most likely in the storages, which are in the center of the base, and he does have mortar targeting inferno towers, which is another negative thing about this attack, but I think I'm pretty sure we can get the one star on this base, and I don't know why I think we can do that, but I pretty much, I, that is my opinion, I think we can pretty much do that. So, we're gonna drop in the four earthquake spells just right here one two three four there we go and i think that should they should do the job right here and then the wall breakers are going to do the job on the outside of the base cannon going to take out one of the wall breakers but the other two should make it yes they did that was a clutch call but there by the wall breakers but that is still okay because they did manage to take it out so are these goblins going to take it out no they're not two more goblins should do the job and there it goes so we're gonna drop in uh, okay so you know what we have to drop in the haste spell sort of on the outside of the base and that is going to be better so you guys we're gonna drop in our giants and now we're gonna go in with every single one of our goblins no they're not going to the town hall you guys that is so terrible what is going on you guys that is my bad that is my mistake dropping in all of the goblins i think they're gonna do the job are these wizards going to take out our goblins i don't know maybe the goblins can do the job can they do the job and yes they actually got the town hall you guys so yes they did it i told you i was confident we could get the one star on this attack and the goblins they did not take out the the dark elixir but we got the win you guys and we did get a decent amount of loot the elixir was i think we didn't get too much gold but we got a decent amount of elixir i think about 150,000, something like that which is bad indeed but it's like it, it's okay for the amount of loot that was in the base because most of the loot is right here in these four storages over on this side of the base now we are going to oh we don't even have our barbarian king i was about to say we're going to drop in our barbarian king here and kill him but that is not the case because we do not have a barbarian king obviously so we're just gonna drop in our goblins and our six wall breakers just for fun no idea why we're doing this we're gonna wait for the wizard towers to come in on this archer and then we're gonna poison them just to kill this guy's clan castle i don't know why i want to do this but i really i just want to do this i don't know why so we're gonna drop in this poison spell and this poison spell and if they do not fall which i think they're gonna fall they should fall i mean yeah okay most of them are gonna fall and the last ones are not gonna fall i could drop in my lava hound over here and then the wizards would go into the center of that poison spell and then move on to kill my lava hound but that would just be a waste of a lava hound so we're just going to end the battle with a victory right here and we've got a decent amount of loot bonus being 45,000 of each we got a bad amount of loot but that is still okay we did manage to grab ourselves the victory with the goblin knife so you know what you guys this was a successful video because look at these two attacks we got a decent amount of loot and then in this attack we got a bad amount of loot but
where we got the victory so this was not bad indeed I mean I would recommend this strategy just make sure you use elixir spells that is going to be the key in winning every single attack and gaining loot at the exact same time because you saw the town hall was at low health in both of those raids and that is because we did not have any free spells or any raid spells take with you raid spells if you possibly can and you want to do that then take some free spells with you but it's raid spells would definitely be recommended so you guys I think I'm going to request for a final time here for a poison spell or something and uh, yeah with that being said I think I'm going to end the video but before that I'm going to train up two of the exact same army yet again for my next attacks and yeah I'm going to end the video here so you guys if you did enjoy then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up let's go ahead and aim for 20 likes yet again I have been aiming for 20 likes in the past couple of videos but that is because I do believe in you guys and I do think you guys can smash our like button so also if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content then please be sure to subscribe to my content for daily videos and with all that being said you guys my name is of course Sasha and I'll see you next time peace out